everybody. It's me, Nancy. And me, Regina. Two, Two crazy, crazy friends of cooking. cooking. We got some fun things going on today. I'm going to show you how to make some pigs in a blanket. And we're going to do some smoked sausage with bacon and cabbage. So let's have fun and get to cooking. Mm -mm. Okay, everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make our fun pigs in a blanket. I'm lucky enough to have this mold right here of the little pigs and the little silicone mold. It's so cute. Is it not the cutest thing ever? It is. It's now, so cute. I don't cute. have any cooking spray, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour just a dab of olive oil in it because you want to coat it just a little bit. And I'm just going to brush it in each one of these. But if you got cooking spray, that works even better. But it's good that we show people different ways you can do stuff. You know, on oh, a lot of our yeah. videos, we do that. That's right. You just got to use what you got. Use what you got. And these are so fun to make. All right, now I've got my best quick in here. You just put just enough and you get it. This consistency. It's nothing but best quick and water. You see the consistency of it? Mm hmm What you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to fill each one of these little piglets with this Bisquit mix, just like this. You know, I make these at Christmas time and when we have gatherings and stuff. It's a good thing. And right now that we're all at home and we can't go nowhere, it's a good thing to have something like this that you can just get together with your family and make and have fun doing it. What do you think, Regina? Oh, yes. And I love them. I think they're so cute. And you don't have to be real perfect with it. Just as long as you get the trays filled up. Just like this. I make a mess. Y'all know I always make a mess. Every time I'm doing something, I make a mess. As long as it tastes good, it don't matter. That's right. And I guarantee you it's going to taste good. And even if you ain't got this little mold, you can find some other way of doing it. I'm just lucky enough to have one. My sister got this for me for quartered it for me for Christmas one time. And they've got so what a such a good variety of molds nowadays. You can just get oh, all kinds. Yes. yes, you can get them anywhere. But yeah, you just fill this up just like this. Make sure I get enough in each one of them. Because you want to make sure you get a good mold. Okay, that's a little mix. Now I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I got packed these little smokies, just like this. And I've had them sitting in water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on this paper towel, kind of dry them a little bit. And then I'm just going to split them in half. Because they're a little bit big and bulky to put down in that, just like it is. Then all you want to do is just go. And put a half in each one of your little molds. Just like this. And these people, I love pigs in a blanket. Don't you, Regina? You know I do. What's the mustard or mm, ketchup? I like mustard with mine. Gotta have a lot of mustard. Oh, they're just so good. Something to snack on. And it's so fast and easy. Yeah, and while we're all stuck at home, you know, cooking and mm -hmm. playing games and just having some family time because of our situation right now. Have fun. Enjoy this time with your families. Yeah, we're all trying to self-quarantine as much as we can because of this coronavirus, so the best thing in the world to do is to start cooking. Start cooking, stay at home, get the kids involved. Oh yeah. Show them how to do things and make it fun. Okay, I'm gonna clean my pan up just a little bit. Wipe just a little bit of this off. All right, my oven is on 375, and I'm gonna, one thing about these things, you just set them in the oven. They're so easy. So easy to do. And we're just gonna wait and let them brown just a little bit. Then we're gonna take them out, we're gonna enjoy some of them. About how much, how long do you think we need to leave them in there? Mm, I'd say about 20, 25 just minutes. Just check them to see how brown you want them? Yeah, just check them to see how brown they are. But it don't take long, you know? Okay. This is what it looks like when it comes out. And all you gotta do, let me get me a little knife here. 
Mmm, it smells so good. Don't they smell good? Oh, let me get my plate. Are they hot? Yeah, they hot. I already got some little babies. Oh, let me look at the little babies. See them how cute. They so cute. The little pigs. Oh, let me look. Let me get in close to this one right here. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. Look at the little piglet. Ah! Some of them might be a little fatter than others, but. Well, we all have our days. Oh, well. They'll still be good, won't they? Mm-hmm. But they're not the cutest things. Some of them look like they're on the keto diet, and some of them look like <laughs> <laughs> they say the heck with the diet. <laughs> look, Regina, you're so funny. <laughs> keto diet. But these are great for a gathering or a party. Oh, yes. And kids love them because they look like little pigs. Yes. Let's get some over here at this table. Now, just look at them, how cute they are. Would you just look at it? Just okay. look at it. Get you one, Regina. Mm-mm-mm. Get one. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Feel me. I'm going to dunk it in this mustard. I put his little head in the mustard. Look. Mm. 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 You bit his head off. I bit his little head off. Bless its heart. Little oink, 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 oink. Oh my goodness, I'm good. I'm that good. Mm, excuse me for talking. You know, I woke up through my mouth, but uh, they're good. They're just that good, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they are. So, mm. like these. You don't have to have the mold. You can use anything. You can. Everybody knows how to make pigs in a blanket. And mm -hmm. if you don't, this gives you some ideas. Some people use canned biscuits, roll them out. But they're so Look. cute. Mm -hmm. Look like little bee piglets. Mm. You know what, Regina? What? We're so lucky. Yeah, we are. Because you know what? what? We get to eat this stuff. We get to make it. Then we get to eat it. We sure do. We very lucky. We cool like that. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll be right back, and we'll make our cabbage. Okay. We're going to get busy making our cabbage right now. What I'm going to do first is i got my skillet on. I'm going to cut it on medium because you don't want it too hot. Mm -mm. You know, you want it. i got my bacon right here. I'm going to get me about three or four strips of bacon. And chop it up real good. Let me get me a, some knife right here. This will be better. I know there's a lot of different ways to make cabbage, but this is the way I like to make mine. And I also love cabbage with potatoes, fried mm -hmm. potatoes, and onions in them. Oh my goodness, that is so good. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get me a little bit of bacon. That looks like about four pieces. Get my good old knife. Just kind of cut this bacon up a little bit so it ain't in big chunks. Just cut it up. I think I need to sharpen my knife a little bit. What do you think? Uh, it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> Bacon is the best thing in the world to season stuff with. Oh, I love gosh, it. Yes. I use it all the time to season stuff. I like it in my green beans. Oh, yes. Put some bacon in your green beans. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And while that bacon's getting heated up, I got my Hillshire Farm beef smoked sausage and I love these things with cabbage they're just the best these are good just on the grill oh I love them like that you know I, I'm just thinking ain't much we don't like Nancy <laughs> well, you, you know at, you can look at me and tell ain't much me I too like. girlfriend <laughs> I love me some food you know what? Every family has their favorite foods. 
and the stuff that they enjoy and that they like. You know, mm -hmm. it ain't just us. No. Everybody does. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be slicing up my sauce, smoked sausage here while my bacon's starting to get going. Just slice it up. I like it kind of thin. How about you? Oh yeah. I like to get a bite of sausage with my cabbage. And you know what? This is a kind of meal right here that'll feed a big crowd of people. Oh yeah. And it's It'll a, go a long way. Yeah, and it's a hearty meal, you know? You got your meat, you got your vegetable, everything. Hear that bacon starting to sizzle? Mm. I can smell that bacon, girlfriend. Mm. I don't know if it's going to be able to hang around and wait on your cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> While that's doing, I'm just going to go ahead and start putting my sausage in. Uh-huh. Letting it get going. That's a pretty big sausage, ain't it? Yep. It's, it's going to make a lot. And that bacon, when it fries up, that grease from the bacon is going to make that sausage taste even better. Not to mention that cabbage. And you know, you don't really need nothing else to go with this meal. No, you, uh, that's a full meal right there. Yes. Putting it down in there. And you know, it's like a lot of people commented about how they like it because we make a lot of easy Easy yeah. recipes that you can just throw together. It really ain't complicated. Yeah. But now we have got some recipes that takes a lot more. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start sharing all those with y'all too. Uh huh. But there we go. I'm going to get my wooden spoon right here. I like a wooden spoon with an edge on it like this. So I can just take and twist my stuff around, you know. Mm hmm. Okay, everybody, our bacon and our sausage has gotten good and brown now. Look oh, at that. Oh, it smells so good. Don't that smell good? Oh, yes, And while that's good. simmering, I'm going to go ahead and cut up our cabbage. I'm going to cabbage. I'm just going to start cutting it up. Just like so. That bacon smells so good with that smoked sausage. Mm-hmm. If you've never had this, you gotta try it. Oh yes. Cause it is really good. You don't have to have no bread with it or anything else. Okay, I don't like the core of my cabbage. So Me neither. Me I always neither. cut that out. Any little piece that I see in it that I don't like, I cut that out too. You just chop up your cabbage. Okay, I'm gonna start putting my cabbage in. Mm. It's just that bacon. That bacon really gives it a good mm. and that smoke smell and flavor. Oh my goodness. So and it really makes a lot. You gotta admit, it makes a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna cut up all this cabbage and put in. A whole head of cabbage. Cause it'll cook down. Yeah, it does. And you know what? You can put onions in this. You can put garlic, garlic mm -hmm. powder. You can put so many other stuff. Now, in when it. I make mine, I put onions in mine. Do you? But you know, everybody don't like onions, but me. You can't never have enough of onions when it comes to me. I love onions. I love onions. Mm. Yeah, you can put that in it. I, I put onions about everything I cook if I can. I like to fry me some potatoes, home fries. Mm-hmm, with onions, onions in them. Oh, yes. And then put the cabbage in it. Oh, goodness, that's so good. But this is really a meal in itself. Yeah, it is. And it's so easy. Anybody can do it. You know? Mm-hmm. Anybody. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the way. Okay. I'll just go with that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And I tell you something else I like to do too. 
while it's cooking. I like to give me a little bit of butter. Got to have me some butter. Got to have some butter. Get a little bit of butter. I just put it in here with this too. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to put a whole lot. I'm going to be easy with the butter. Boom. I bet my neighbors can smell that. What do you think? Uh, I bet you they can. It smells so good. Mm -mm. You know, it's hard to uh, try to stick to a diet with all this cooking, you know. Oh, God. At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, I done <laughs> told you. I ain't worried about no diet. I got enough fat on me to live for a while. Put your salt. A bit of salt. Put your pepper. I like a lot of pepper. Do you? Okay, everybody, now look down in there and look at that. Mm, 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 that looks good. Does that not look good? Now let's plate us up some of that. I'll get you some, Regina. And I ain't gonna give you much, Regina. Are you crazy? That's, that's you best go it. on with another help on the diet. You're on a diet. You don't need I'm not on a diet when we're cooking. That's the rules. It's in the rule book. That's like just that. during the week when is we this, ain't cooking. Is this enough for you? Yes. 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 Oh, God. Let's taste it. Oh. Me, Nancy. And me, Regina. Two crazy friends are cooking. Have a good day.